ແລະບັນພູມາງອບມັນແນ່ຫາຍຂ້ອຍຍັງອັດຈັດຫາຍຂ້ອຍຍັງຈັດຕົກຕົງນີ້ເກດອາດ <cười> Every year, Cambodia has tens of thousands of migrants that cross the border irregularly without documentation. The country's history of civil war, political instability, rejects poverty and lack of secure employment, push many people to migrate away from their homes. The promise of well paid jobs in Thailand for the poor migrants across the border. Untold numbers of male migrants are often deceived and trafficked into working on Thai fishing boats, where they are held captive and forced to work as slaves. Labor. They are trapped on boats at sea, sometimes for years, giving them almost no chance of escape. Their working conditions are brutal and their situation is desperate. We continually hear stories of inhumane beatings, murder and men dumped overboard when they fall too ill to work any longer. <coughs> These people usually come from the remote areas um, and they are very poor. It's heartbreaking to hear these stories again and again um, of these men who have been trafficked to Thai fishing vessels. The reason they left is just to support their families. They were promised uh, good jobs um, and salaries to, to support their families back in Cambodia. So most of them uh, are not, uh, do not uh, finish primary school. So they are easily deceived by the traffickers. Because of poverty here, they are so desperate for money. So they would you know, accept any job promised to them. But unfortunately, uh, again and again, they're deceived. Um, and tricked um, to accepting these jobs on boats. Then on the boat, the boat would take them to uh, the international sea. Bigger vessels usually don't dock. They usually offload their catch to smaller vessels and they fuel from other vessels. So they actually don't never actually dock in, in any port in any country. So the men uh, are trapped on these boats, They're similar to a, a floating prison. <laughs> ពូនចំពោះចេះថៃទៅគាត់និយាយទៅគេនាំទៅចត់ទូកយ៉ាងថាយើងធ្វើខុសអ្វីមួយដែលថានៅទូកយ៉ាងគេធ្វើបាបយើងវាយយើងរហូតដល់សម្លាប់ព្រមានគួគេវាយគេអីយើងទៅខ្ញុំ
We usually find out about these cases from NGOs who have been contacted by the families of the men. We find out about these cases through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and their relevant embassies and consulates overseas. We are on the way uh, to uh, Kompongjang province on uh, capital bus uh, company. We uh, repair with uh, them to their community. Around 100 or a little bit more uh, of um, migrants are assisted to repatriate to to Cambodia by IAM each year. We've returned Cambodian males from Malaysia, Indonesia, Mauritius, South Africa, India and Senegal. Our regional office here in Bangkok um, has a program covering the greater Mekong states and Malaysia and through that we work with the Royal Thai government uh, to provide information on services uh, to migrants, including migrants who are working in the fishing industry, uh, to let them know where they can find safe, legal and decent deployment and also address any uh, any claims of abuse or mistreatment they may have. So this week we're receiving a group of 25 men that have been returned back from Malaysia. Here in Cambodia, IOM meets the men at the airport. We provide travel assistance back to IOM office. The first thing we work with them is to ask them about their well-being when they travel and also when they arrive in Cambodia, they're feeling. Then our medical doctors provide a health examination for the men and any health problems that they have, we treat, we provide accommodation and food. Often this is the first good meal that they've had in years and the first good night's sleep. The following day, uh, we would give them uh, money for transportation to go back to their uh, home village. IAM also works in collaboration with the uh, Anti-Trafficking and Juvenile Protection Unit of the Ministry of Interior. We also work through an intergovernmental mechanism called the Bali Process, which brings together 44 governments and concerned organisations to discuss issues related to migration across the migratory corridors in Asia and the Pacific. In regards to the reintegration process, we work with different NGOs such as CWCC who provide assistance to the migrants to find work. <coughs> A policy guide on the criminalisation of trafficking and prosecution of traffickers is currently being developed by Bali Process member states, led by Thailand and Australia, and that will be discussed when the Bali Process member states meet here in Bangkok uh, in March. And what we hope is that this will give teeth to efforts uh, to, to fight an industry which is um, trading human beings, ruining thousands of lives every year. Today Iowa is providing a workshop for repatriated men. We're providing information on how to attain legal passports, uh, work visas, and also providing information about vocational training to assist them in their reintegration into Cambodia. It's hard to believe that such slavery-like condition is still used. If IOM had more funding, we could uh, expand our, uh, our operations. Many of the men languish in detention centres without being identified. With more funding, we could work more closely with the consulate to ident quickly identify these male victims. And IOM is working on putting pressure on governments to take responsibility to enforce uh, the law. We could prevent such issue or we could at least reduce the issues so that migrants are not being exploited anymore in the future. My younger sister, she could not recognize uh, him and start to recognize a little bit. Three daughters and seven brothers, but some of them have migrated to Malaysia. Uh, taking, uh, this girl. My younger sister was so small when I left home. See my nephews and niece.
So we don't know how many irregular migrants are out there in Thailand and how many of them are being deceived to the fishing industry every day. It could be thousands of other victims are out there. In the last three years we've returned uh, over 300 men um, but we feel like this is really the only the tip of the iceberg in terms of how many men are actually out there on the boats. I'm <laughs> <laughs>